My name is uh, Tore Kvien. I'm a rheumatologist in Oslo, Norway, professor at the University of Oslo and head of the Department of Rheumatology uh, at Diakonium Hospital in Oslo, Norway. So uh, regarding uh, the impact on the market of the first monoclonal antibody biosimilar in Europe, uh, I expect it will be uh, huge. Um, the main reason is that biological uh, DMARs, as we call it in rheumatology, or uh, TNF inhibitors and similar drugs, they are very expensive. And we know that there are huge differences across Europe uh, regarding the uptake. And we also know that uh, countries with the poor economy, uh, lower gross domestic products, for example, they have less access and more restrictions uh, for uh, these drugs. So by lowering the price, I really hope that also more patients in Europe uh, will be able to use uh, these uh, drugs. Uh, first of all, I think education will be very important, both for, yeah, for all stakeholders, uh, for the doctors, for the nurses, but also for the patients, so that they ha have the real understanding that the uh, biosimilars they are really similar to the originated products regarding efficacy, safety and immunogenicity. The interchangeability, whether uh, it will be safe to change patients on stable treatment with Remicade uh, to Remsema. And I think that um, before that will be really implemented into clinical practice, we need to see more data on switching from originator to biosimilar both studying efficacy, safety and immunogenicity. And this is also now what we are trying to do in a government finance study in Norway called the NordSwitch study, where patients on stable treatment with Remicade, they are, uh, if they consent to go into the trial, they are then randomized to continued treatment with Remicade or switching to Remsema and followed for one year.